Ten officials took their oaths on Friday in three separate groups. The first comprised of four ministers, Dr. Jeanette Baisenga, the new Minister of Gender and Family Promotion, Dr. Daniel Ngamije, the Minister of Health, Ines Ambara, the Minister in Charge of Cabinet Affairs, and Dr. Valentin Wamaria, who will serve as the Minister of Education. Four ministers of state were also sworn in, as well as two members of parliament. Speaking following their swearing in, President Paul Kagame had this to say. When you say that you will not use the power you have been given for personal gain, what does that mean? When it comes to actually applying that oath, things tend to get difficult and most in their weakness, and it is understandable that in weakness people can make mistakes. But there are those who think that they are actually stronger when acting in that way, stronger than everybody else. They then channel all of their efforts towards personal gain. That is wrong and I have repeated this many times. The fact is the interests of the general public must come first because they are the ones that produce results that are useful to us and build the country. The newly sworn-in officials say they understand the importance of their work and intend to begin focusing on certain issues. The goals exist, but we will look at where things are not going well and focus our efforts there, especially moving down the ranks because many programs are implemented at the settlement level. We have community kitchens, vegetable gardens. All those things must be implemented down at the settlement level. Efforts are going to be centered on capacity building among doctors so that our country can provide only the best health care services and they in turn can improve service delivery and productivity in other sectors of the country. Some teachers lack the capabilities to deliver what is expected and so you cannot expect such people to eventually reach set goals and levels. However, programs do exist to build up professional competence and confidence while on the job, so teachers must be assisted when it comes to capacity building. But also there must be a look at existing teaching aids such as curriculums and if they truly address the market demand and needs. President Paul Kagame believes the changes should make a difference. I see that you are still young and many are women. We should use the strength found in youth and among women. Combining those elements, I cannot understand why we should not succeed. If we fail, then it will be because of us, but we do have all we need. The cabinet is now comprised of 28 people, 15 of whom are women. 